I'm sorry for the technical glitch. So the value of wood becomes one lakh twelve thousand five hundred into number of years purchased two rupees two lakh twenty five thousand. In this way, you will solve the questions of average profit method on past adjustments. Now we'll solve one more question here so that it becomes quite clear to you. Here, the profits of last five years are given. For this purpose, valuation of goodwill is to be calculated on the basis of four years purchase. Of average profit of last five years. So we find out the goodwill on the basis of four years purchase of average profit of last five years. The average profit of last five years are given here. Out of which one is loss, which is five lakh ninety thousand into how nineteen it is loss. It is given in the bracket. Now, the adjustments here are: on first April two thousand eighteen, a car costing one lakh was purchased and debited to travelling expenses account. Whenever you purchase a car, it is an asset. It should be written to assets account. But by mistake, they have entered it into travelling expenses account. When they have Entered into travel ex expenses account. They have written these expenses, but it was not an expense. They have reduced the profit. They have written the expenses account means they have entered it into PL, but this should have gone to balance sheet. When they have entered it into PL, this due to this expense, the profit has come down. They have reduced the profit of that year by writing more expenses. But since this expense was not incurred, this is not an expense. This is an purchase of asset. It should have gone to balance sheet. Now, when they have written it in profit and loss account, they have reduced the profit, so we will have to add back the profit. Next, on which depreciation is to be charged at twenty five percent? Now, if they would have written it as an asset, they would have charged depreciation on that. Now, since they have not written it as an asset, they have also not charged the depreciation. So, first of all, we'll add back the expense. We'll add the expense that is not incurred actually. The profit that has been reduced that will be added back. Next, after writing in the asset, we'll charge depreciation on that. We'll subtract the depreciation amount. Next is interest of ten thousand on the non-trade investment is credit to the income for the year ended thirty first March two thousand eighteen and nineteen. In the year thirty first March two thousand eighteen and nineteen, we have added the interest of ten thousand of non-trade investment. The interest of ten thousand that is earned from non-trade investment is added to the year two thousand eighteen and nineteen. That should not be added. We will subtract that. Now you can check here. These years, whatever are given here, two hundred fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, and nineteen. These are on thirty first March. Thirty first March two hundred fifteen. Thirty first March two hundred sixteen. Thirty first March seventeen. Thirty first March eighteen. And thirty first March nineteen. Means this year is two hundred eighteen nineteen. This is the year which ended on thirty first March two hundred nineteen. This is the year which ended on thirty first March two hundred eighteen. So the year which ended on thirty first March two thousand eighteen is the year which is actually two hundred seventeen eighteen. The year which started from first April two thousand seventeen and ended on thirty first March two thousand eighteen. So all these years are fourteen fifteen, fifteen sixteen, seventeen eighteen, for fourteen fifteen, fifteen sixteen, sixteen seventeen, seventeen eighteen, and eighteen nineteen. So we'll go accordingly. Now you can see here the profits whatever is given in the book. I've copied here first, which is one lakh fifty thousand, three lakh fifty, five lakh, seven lakh ten, and five lakh ninety. The loss for the last year. Now, as I have told, in the year. On first April two thousand eighteen, on first April two thousand eighteen, the car of rupees one lakh was purchased. So they have purchased a car of rupees one lakh in the year first April two thousand eighteen. So whenever they have purchased it in the year first April two thousand eighteen, we'll subtract it from there. Making one correction here. On first April two thousand seventeen, it would be on first April two thousand seventeen, a car costing one lakh was purchased and debited to travelling expenses account. So when a car was purchased there, a car was purchased of first April two thousand seventeen. So a car should have been written in assets account. They have written in profit loss account. They have reduced the profit. So we'll add back the profits. So profits are added back because they have written in expenses account. They have written in profit loss account and they have reduced the profit. When they have put more expenses, the profit has come down. So we have add the profit back. So one lakh profit is added now. On that, twenty five percent depreciation is to be charged. If they would have written it in the balance sheet in the asset side, they would have charged depreciation. Now, when we are correcting it, we are writing it in the asset side. So we'll also charge the depreciation of twenty five percent. So twenty five percent on one lakh is rupees twenty five thousand. That twenty five thousand depreciation will be charged. Next is interest of ten thousand on non trade investment. The investment which is of non trade nature, we have earned interest of ten thousand there. So that ten thousand interest is included in the year two thousand eighteen and nineteen. That we need to subtract. So we'll subtract both the interest of ten thousand, ten thousand from both the years. After this. 
you will get the final result there is no changes in 215 16 in 17 it becomes 5 lakh plus 1 lakh 6 lakh 6 lakh minus 25000 5 lakh 75000 in 2018 it becomes 7 lakh 10 minus 10000 rupees 7 lakh in 2019 it is already negative 5 lakh 90000 again you have subtracted 10000 so it becomes negative 6 lakh now when you find the average profits it comes like this rupees 1 lakh 50000 plus 3 lakh 50000 plus 5 lakh 75000 plus rupees 7 lakh minus rupees 6 lakh divided by 5 years so average will be divided by 5 you will get 1 lakh 75 11 lakh 75000 total divided by 5 that is rupees 2 lakh 35000 and average profit into number of years purchase 2 lakh 35000 into 4 4 was the number of purchase there in the question it becomes rupees 9 lakh 40000 the value of goodwill so the value of goodwill comes here to rupees 9 lakh 40000 you can check it here the full solution i am showing you right now here question number 8 you can check the full solution here also question number 7 solution i am showing you there you can see the solution of question number 7 there i hope it is clear in the next video we will deal about weighted average profits and i will also provide you questions to solve those questions please solve and send it to me as soon as possible thank you very much and bye